Welcome to the Next Wave Digital Video. I'm your host, Tony Reale, and it's time for virtual production update number one. All right, if you guys tuned into our last video, you know that we just got our new ultra short throw projector set up with our ALR screen and our new studio set up. And I have been working for the past several days to get our Unreal engine working with end display to display on the screen and then with the tracking to get that to, sh to work with our camera positional data. So here's our camera right here. Um, we've got the vibe trackers working, we've got end display working, and as I move it back here, you can see the image updating in real time. Here, I'll flip the camera around. So here's looking at the screen, and you'll see we have real time tracking. This is this is really exciting. It's a very boring scene, but this is the first time that we got it working this well. There are a lot of things to experiment with. Uh, I'll be able to adjust the focal length of the camera and the, uh, the field of view of the frustum to be able to not get any image. Right now the image is, uh, you know, it's still visible. The edge of the, of the image is visible on the screen. That's all stuff that I can adjust in the settings. But, you know, over here we have um, our kind of our little booth here that I've been working on. Uh, I'm running my, this is my computer actually built for my flight simulator, but it's got a uh, RTX 3090 in it. It's got a um, 5950X processor. It's a pretty beefy system. It's the most powerful system that I have. So that's what we're using for Unreal. Um, again, this is a pretty simple screen, simple setup back here. So this was just a proof of concept, getting everything working. There's my, uh, there's my son right there. Hey, Judah, say hi. <laughs> um, so I'm just excited. This was a lot of work for us. Uh, I've been working on this for, for hours. Uh, ben and I troubleshooted it quite a bit. And just to be able to do this and have it show up on the, t on the screen back there, that's immensely exciting. So uh, I'm going to link to some tutorials that I watched that really, really helped me in this process. Uh, they were amazing. And without them, I would not have gotten this working. So check out the description for those tutorials. Um, Frankly, I still don't know exactly how everything's working as well. I followed the instructions and in, in the two different tutorials and, and that got me up to speed. Uh, but uh, the next step, of course, is to be able to bring in a full project. Right now, I, I have to figure out how to do everything that we just did and duplicate it into, um, into a project with assets and, and other uh, elements into it. So that's the next thing. That'll be probably update number two that you'll see. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.